everyone, my name is Alexandra and I am a watercolor artist. Welcome to today's bonus video for Valentine's Day where I am going to show you how to paint a Valentine's card in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. Alright, so for supplies, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what I have. Two cups of water, one for clean, one for dirty water. A napkin for drying your paintbrush. I have a pencil just to draw out some guidelines. I am using Opus Allegro's number two paintbrush. I have a Micron number zero five fine liner, as well as some paints from Art Philosophy and Co. I'm using the Terrain palette and I'll just be taking a mixture of colors. So for today's card, we are going to paint a super simple rock. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get started. This card is a perfect gift for anyone that you guys wanna give. I am using a very clever play on words, so it will say you rock on it. But I'm just gonna start by taking, I have sort of a mixture of colors here. I'm using a gray brown that I've just mixed essentially by mixing all of the colors together. And I've drawn a really simple guideline on my card. So I'm just gonna paint a shape of a rock. It's not gonna be perfectly circle. So essentially here, I'm just painting a random blob of gray. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some darker paint sort of along the edge and bottom just to give it a bit of shadowing. Now we'll add some more detail to that, but while that dries, we're just gonna paint some little flowers around it. So to start, I'm gonna go in with my yellow and I'll use this sort of as my guide point. So this is gonna be the center of my flowers. I'm just gonna paint some really small yellow circles and I'll just show where my flowers are gonna go. So I'm sort of clustering them around on either side. So now that I've done that, I can go in with my colors. I'm gonna start with a nice sort of pink red flower and I'm just gonna paint really simple little petals around that yellow circle that I painted. So to do that, I'm just painting little oval shapes and I'm gonna do five of them going around. I'm just picking up some of the water off those yellow, yellow spots, otherwise they may not dry quick enough. So I've done a little pink flower there. I just want this one, I think, to be really colorful. So we're gonna throw in a blue flower next. And I'm just gonna do, um, sorry, I changed my mind. We're gonna do a blue flower after. So I'm gonna paint in a few more little pink flowers and then we'll mix it up from there. So exact same thing that I did over here. I'm gonna do a really small one where I painted this yellow circle. And then I'll do a bigger one over here. So the nice thing about this is that you guys can paint in whatever flowers you'd like. We're gonna go in with pen after, so it doesn't matter if they're super messy because we'll add in the more fine details. So now I'm gonna paint in some orange flowers. For these ones, I'm gonna do really small petals going all the way around. I'll do another one down here. And then my last one that I'm going to do, I'm gonna paint a purple flower. I'm 
So again, just continuing to follow that same concept. Petals all around. Gonna let that dry. But while that dries, we're gonna paint in some grass into our painting. So I'm going into my palette and then I'm gonna take this vine leaf color. I like that it's a bit of a brighter green. And we're just gonna paint little stems of grass. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going around, not around, I'm going across this line that I've drawn and I'm just painting tiny little brush strokes up, tiny little curved lines. I can make some of them taller, they're sort of overlapping with each other. And I'm gonna go on either side of this rock. With just nice fine lines. Um, okay, and now we're gonna go in with the same green and paint really skinny stems coming down from each flower. And then attaching to each of those, you're welcome to just add in some little leaves. So now while we let that dry, I'm just gonna add in a little bit more to our rock here. So going back in with my paintbrush, I'm essentially painting a shadow and I don't mind if the lines are kind of rough. I'll paint some lines coming up from it just to give it some more depth. So you can see the difference between where I've added the paint and where I had the paint before. So we're just adding to it. And now we are gonna blend in this grass a little bit across the bottom. Just have it look a little more cohesive. And it is time for pen. So I am gonna go in and add some writing. So at this point, I'm gonna add some pen details in. If you guys wanna stop and leave it without the pen, then definitely feel free to stop here. But I'm gonna add in a little bit more detail. So I just wanna make these flowers really stand out. So I'm going in with my pen and I'm outlining my flower petals. So by doing this, I'm just giving some more definition to my image. And it also just separates each color from each other a little better. So I find I don't always use pen in my paintings, but it's one of those things that I like to add in, especially when I'm painting things like greeting cards for people, because it just gives it a really fun and cute look to it. All right, so now to go over the grass, you're not actually outlining each blade of grass. You're essentially doing with the pen exactly what you did with the paintbrush for the grass by drawing little curved lines. And then I'm gonna really lightly outline my rock, but I'm sort of leaving some white gaps as I outline it. All right, so the last thing that we need to do to finish off our Valentine's card is add writing in. Um, so I'm just gonna grab something that I can trace a line underneath so that I know where to put my letters. And just make sure it's nice and straight. I'll use my pencil to do that line. And you guys can do this however you want. I'm just gonna do some really basic printing underneath. We will add our words in and then I will go back in and erase the pencil and that is all. For
for our card painting. I made it just in under 10 minutes. Um, if you guys followed along and did paint this, please do take a picture, share it with me on Instagram at Alexandra Victoria Studio. I absolutely love to see what you guys are painting. If you have any questions, either leave a comment below or you can let me know on Instagram as well. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. See you next time.